A few people have asked about the damage to tourism in the Philippines relating to the fiasco, the bullet in the bag, and a few other things that have come up recently. Uh, the kidnappings, that's another one. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't think the Philippines gives a monkey's... Um, you've got to imagine, the elites in the Philippines, a word I do not like using, because elite to me actually uh, sounds more superior, but often these people are um, not the best educated. That's the only way I can politely put it. Um, not the sharpest tool in the box. But the, the point being is that they have everything. They sit at the top of the tree. They have control over the customs, they've got control over the businesses. Every, every town has the same department stores, etc. They have a monopoly on everything, right down to the animal feeds. The reason a lot of this uh, wiping out of the rice business and the now the pigs uh, goes on in the Philippines is they want it centrally controlled for Manila because imports you get tax duty at the port it, if you've got land that can farm and you've got pigs that you can fatten and breed on your own land there's no tax on that you can hide pigs you can hide your crops if you're miles away from Manila they've got no control of it but if you get rid of it all and force everything through uh, Manila everything that goes through that port is getting not only taxes on it but also the, um, I don't, I can't say extortion, can I? Well, the, uh, there's, the profiteering goes on. And I've seen it with rice. There was, there was an embargo about the, there were certain things with the rice that was done when Aquino came in. Uh, but there was a local arrangement made that released all the rice that was stuck in the port. Um, I'm not sh sure if I can actually discuss what was actually agreed to be paid but there was an agreement made. Uh, that's why they don't care. Foreigners are not important. Tourism is not important. They have everything. You're not talking millionaires, you're talking billionaires. You're talking people that have their own little armies and control everything in the area. Why do they care? You know, this is the thing. These are the people that control The only thing they fear is probably the OFWs that have influence with the whole Filipino um, population because if the OFWs get upset and stop sending money home that's when there's the chance of an uprising because the problem with elites is although they're um, quite a large group they rely on being a small group within a country because people sat on their backsides could not be the majority um, although in the UK it is the majority <laughs> No, uh, long term, you cannot all be sat around just taking money off everybody, um, unless you're in the UK, unemployed. Um, but the, the, <laughs> the point being here is that they rely on the numbers game. They rely on OFW money to offset the fact that there's no social security system as such. It does have something, but it's nothing compared to what the OFWs provide every month. Um, so this thing with the ballot buying boxes where they've all been opened and messed around with didn't go down well, there was actually some interference. Bullet in the bag just seems a complete farce at the moment with over nearly one half thousand cases this year and it's, it's like, what are you complaining about? There's been a few people complain, but that's nothing. We've had like nearly one half thousand cases this year. What are you moaning at? Uh, just one question. Why have you had one half thousand cases nearly? in airports with firearms uh, in baggage. Just, a, just, just out of interest. Uh, are we running a military terminal or something? But anyway, yeah. Um, so the point is, they don't care. Tourism is not relevant. Although they'll say, well, we're promoting it, they're not really making a lot of effort. And the big boys control everything anyway. Um, I'm not sure it's still the same head now, but the, the previous head of the tourism for Cebu for example used to be the I think it was the manager or something of Waterfront Hotel which is one of the biggest hotels in Cebu if not the biggest it's all controlled it's all insular it's all syndicates etc they don't care they really don't care 
Um, like I said, the only ones they worry about is OFWs and the local population, because those are the ones that can actually overthrow and change the government. And I think the Philippines have got the same problem we have in the UK and US, where we're suffering with bad leaders. Um, how can you overthrow a government or change a government without anything to replace it with? Um, my personal view is the UK could survive without any government, um, purely because it can't get any worse than what we have, but all those Champagne Charlies, well, when I say Champagne Charlies, because if you look at how much they, they actually spend at the Houses of Parliament, etc., on, with taxpayers' money on Champagne, um, you'd understand what I'm talking about. They ha uh, they're wasting money like no tomorrow, if we got rid of all of them, including all the security that they'll have till they die, um, we'd be saving a fortune. That's the way. I, that's how I put the the UK back in, back into uh, budget is actually wipe out most of the politicians. I don't. And that's not to overthrow and murder them, by the way. That's just to say, when I say wipe them out, it's stop paying them, fire them, <laughs> making that very clear. Um, but yeah, they don't care about tourism in the Philippines. It's of very little value. Um, they'll they'll say they do, but the whole bullet in the bag fiasco and the kidnappers etc. Tell everybody otherwise. <laughs>